Hello Antalya, hello Antalyanders, welcome to my channel. I'm Bas and this is my channel where I place some videos about life in Antalya, how to move to Turkey, how to establish yourself in Turkey. I have a Telegram channel which is in the description section down below. You can go there and uh, join it if you have any questions. There are other people who live in Antalya and who would be happy to share their experiences and maybe answer some of your questions because most of the questions which people have they continue repeating all you have to do is just research a little bit and you will find it on the internet sometimes though it's helpful to talk to somebody and uh, to get somebody to answer your questions all at once instead of going through a lot of information and information becomes outdated very quickly these days because the world is changing you probably know that the world is changing very fast and the governments if they're not lazy, they responded to it pretty quickly. So that's Turkey. In this particular case, I actually experienced it many times. Turkey is changing immigration policies on and on and on. It just uh, looks at the challenges which the world uh, throws at Turkey and uh, deals with that. By the way, you probably all know that uh, Turkish Lira is uh, uh, losing some value. It had happened in the past two, three weeks uh, quite a bit. That's because Turkish government decided to reduce the interest rate and I think this is the fair response of the market. On the other hand, you know, dollar actually became more valuable because the government in the United States increased the same interest rate by, I believe, 0.75 uh, points. Nevertheless, this video is not about this, uh, not about economics, also it's an important part of our life. This video is about how to actually move to Turkey step by step. And it's very short, it's very simple. First of all, you have to look at your passport. Your passport has to be at least the amount of time for which you will apply for residency. So if your pass, passport has only six months and you're applying for one year of residency, forget about it, you're not going to get one year because your passport it has only six months. So before you go to Turkey, make sure that your passport has some time and uh, later on obviously you can go to your embassy hopefully they will have passports for you because sometimes embassies have problems but for now just to move to turkey make sure that your passport has equal amount of time to the one which you apply the second is a very important point which i'm trying to make I actually met quite a few people who had this trouble. They come with their children and they try to establish, they try to apply for residency for their children and here they get a problem. Because in Turkey, if you have children, you have to have both parents' consent. Well, if one of them is present, obviously that parent can give consent, but the other parent if you don't have consent from that person, you got a problem. The other thing is you have to have it. Uh, you have to have it apostille. You have to get apostille on this release form, and you also have to have apostille on whatever else you have, like a certificate of birthday. The only document which you don't need it for is passport. Pretty much everything else that you will be supplying. From foreign country you have to get a postal on it and uh, that will go for your certificate of death if you widowed and if for some reason you need to show it it will go for your certificate of marriage it will go pretty much on anything that you have to supply you have to have it it's not possible to get it in your embassy because by international law the apostille apostle it has to be issued on the territory of the country where the document is issued also so keep that in mind the next step healthcare when you come into Antalya when you come into Turkey or any other country for that sense for a period of time while you apply for residency and getting established it may not be a bad idea to have a healthcare it will not be a bad idea to buy insurance so if you didn't think about it think of it now and uh, that, that thing you can actually take care of yourself in the country where you live in. Sometimes in some countries the uh, credit cards will actually have that benefit attached to that. Maybe you have such 
opportunity or maybe you have universal health care from your country etc it's just worth checking because when you will be applying for your residency in turkey you will have to have uh, another insurance which you will buy locally but before you get to it you have to have some time to cover the other thing which you really need to think of is where you're going to stay and i had several videos uh, which i mentioned before how you can go about it one thing is you can go to expedia to booking to airbnb and there are multiple other sites where you can go and look for place to stay and you will need to stay there for a period probably a month or two before you apply maybe three because in most cases the time you can stay for free in turkey or on a short-term visa will depend on the country which you come from so it will depend on your passport i cannot tell you how long your particular passport will permit you to stay that is something which you have to research now one of the good ideas is to find a part hotel because if you stay in just in hotel that means that you probably will be eating all the time in the restaurants it's not very expensive in turkey it's okay but you will get tired very quickly because as i mentioned quite a few times the choice of food in turkey also the food is good but the choices the variety is not very great turkish people know very well how to make uh, shawarma or how to make kebab those are two things which will be made perfectly other things sometimes better sometimes worse they also have their own um, version of pizza which is called pide but in most cases if you order pizza in turkey i think you will be disappointed at least i was it took me a long time to find one particular place which i patronize now and i eat pretty darn good pizza so after that you have to start looking for long-term apartment because to get your residency you have to have a long-term lease signed and notarized by the owner of that particular apartment that is the step which is very important and for that you will have to engage some people who are already in turkey maybe you can use this particular telegram channel which i have maybe somebody knows there you can talk to people maybe you can find some bloggers who actually promote it and they offer that i personally don't get engaged into the business of rentals i'm just telling you that you have to do it because uh, a part hotel or hotel is not a ground for applying for residency those things will not be accepted in immigration and right now immigration has a pretty long line so once you get to turkey once you are actually uh, slept two or three nights you may start looking for the apartment and you may have to get into that line and uh, you will be surprised how long it is again that is because the world is changing and people come into turkey and many of them try to stay because it's not very difficult to get into turkey in turkey even if you get residency you will not be able to work so you have to have a source of income in many cases not always the government the immigration may ask for proof of funds that means you will have to open bank account you can open bank account in turkey it's not very easy it depends on your passport again but you can open bank account without actually having residency and you can deposit the money there so you can show to the government that you have sufficient funds to stay there and, and not working you will not be able to work in turkey unless you go through another legal process and that is a whole different animal I'm not going to touch that in this video you have to go actually outside outside of country uh, to get you established depending on your passport or maybe you can convert it inside the country but that's a whole different ball game the best thing to do is have enough funds which will give you opportunity to stay in turkey at least for one year and in turkey the minimum salary right now is about 400 dollars and uh, the average salary is about 850 dollars and goes up so that is pretty much the level at which you will have to be spending at least a minimal salary so if you are going to stay in turkey for a period of one year it is most likely you have to have about uh, uh, 65 7 thousand turkish lira which is roughly about 500 dollars something like that and if i'm saying something wrong please correct me i've been wrong before i will correct it myself but those are the minimal requirements to establish you in turkey to get your residency i'm Bas. welcome to my channel again i hope you like this video and if so just put some likes behind uh, down there and put some comments all the best